Uh, Far Westman talks about this a lot. Well, I don't think he mentioned that on a YouTube video. The issue of equality and sexual revolution is that leftists promise it all the time. Set 40 years ago, sodomy was no longer against the law. You could be a guy and do a guy. And that was a big deal at the time. Now, there's an, not that the Macklemore, Lady Gaga, gay marriage, gay equality issues kind of dwindling down, and no one's really on Vladimir Putin's case. I mean, they probably are for what he said about the gay question on Russia, but who cares? Gay Russian neo-Nazis, uh, not my thing to support. The issue with the sexual revolution process, leftism always promises is that it's kind of a scam. I don't mean that in that it's going to turn everyone into a degenerate and they're all going to start but fucking each other and diseases will rise and whatever. Because I already know a bunch of right-wingers are going to say, well, that's eugenic. That's just getting rid of the scum of the earth. So those uh, Machiavellian, social Darwinistic right-wingers, uh, they're probably going to be with or against it, but they're inconsistent anyway, because they're holding on to a Darwinistic view when they should be holding on to a more divine viewpoint. The issue I have with this is that now it's moving on to the issue of pedophilia. And it's one thing to be considered a degenerate, hell-bound sodomite, but be considered a pathetic, beta male, child rapist, and it's usually rapist. Um, that's going to damper your image even more, even if you get labeled a sex offender at the age of 15 because you texted your nudes to another, your 15 year old girlfriend. There's a lot of consequences with that. I mean, nowadays, uh, there's always a paranoia that you might be a child rapist. If you're in a white van with black windows, they're going to look at you and they're going to judge you. And they're going to be concerned. There's always a paranoia because of that. Uh, and that's why it's kind of changed up in the social justice system. They're going to start fighting it now since Macklemore and Lady Gaga are repetitive now. We get it. And that bullshit is dumb, but it's another story. I mean, you go to a Toys R Us and ask for a bunch of houses and toys... And you get a funny look. Bitch, I got kids. His birthday's coming up. Or some bullshit like that. Imagine if in the 60s, if you were playing sports and you tapped a guy in the ass and said, good game or some shit. And they're like, hey, yo, nigga, you mo. Or some shit like that. Um, yeah, there were homophobic insults, but that's just what they were insults, not the more, not the less. There wasn't a paranoia in the air. Ironically, there's a lot of paranoia going on right now. Um, I'm using a lot of filler words today. That's how you know this is a fucking filler video. There's always that essentially witch hunt to see which guy is essentially a gay dude and it's costed people milestones in their career Matt Bomer didn't want to come out nigga they kept asking him in interviews and it was obvious he was because of how he reacted but uh it's not in his contract to answer that question and he got turned down in the role of Superman because of it Adam Lambert is they kept arresting him, like, yo, are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? They gotta come out, eventually. 
Okay, now he's in Queen. What about Clay Aiken? That nigga... <laughs> that nigga, nigga ain't worth shit. Movies never worth shit, but... Damn! Y'all niggas got him fucked up. <laughs> I mean, what if niggas want to stay in the closet? So if this uh, pedophilia issue kind of rises up where... Now it's start going to become a little more legal. I mean, it's already classified as a mental disorder, so they're doing this born this way route with it. And there's always been activism for it. What's going to happen when there's a ghost hunt for freaky, creepy looking guys that might be it? Or in their 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s. Like that nigga from Family Guy. What if they start looking for guys like that? And then, of course, they get turned down for movie roles. And their career starts going through their ups and downs. 15 minutes of their fame's declines. Uh, bullshit preachiness. It wouldn't be cool, right? I don't know why there's always a slut that's trying to fucking call me when I'm making a video. It's always a low IQ person that's calling me up. It's never like someone cool like one of my best bros or someone like that. Alright. Alright, you see? Hello? Okay. Alright. Bye. Apparently my little bro got kidnapped. Who fucking knew? See, it's relevant to the subject. But anyway, that just tells you a lot about uh, the paranoia we have now. It's no longer okay to call someone a faggot or a cocksucker, but uh, you so much as stay in a room that's a total sausage fest and uh you're gonna be labeled a gay guy or man i feel like i'm gonna turn gay if i stay in this room there's no girls or if you're what if you're like a even the idea of being a school teacher is kind of discomforting like for a bunch of little kids like they're gonna get the wrong idea i mean it's pretty dumb the way paranoia is kind of going up. And yes, I'm exaggerating because I love exaggerations, but there's always these insecurities, especially with uh, the rise in feminism. Like you go to a store and get your girl some lingerie, it's kind of discomforting. Uh, I kind of feel uncomfortable when I try to go uh, to get some condoms because you know, I need to bust that nut. You know, fucking needs to happen. It's a little discomforting. But of course, that might just be me being a total pussy, which I kind of understand. At the same time, there's always that looming presence everywhere you go and everything you do. And you see it more and more. And that's where the scam comes in. Leftism is a scam because it promises all these freedoms, but really, they're always watching, they're always trying to keep things in control, even if order isn't being sustained, even if everything is degenerating, at least it's all in their control. And this is an inversion of previous tyrannies, superior tyrannies, tyrannies, the benevolent dictatorships of the world, the absolutist supremacy of Western civilization, its apex, its magnum opus, all that is gone now, like, there's a reason we kind of conflated power with shit, and it's because shitty people come into power, 
and they basically want to keep everything sort of degenerated so long as it benefits them. And 4chan is obsessed with the Jewish question. I mean, their media role, their university role, you know, even public education. Like, I've never been to a school where there wasn't a Jewish person teaching. Um, and their role in terms of politics, activism, you already know about that. Not to mention their role in the banks financial industry, well that's kind of obvious, it's always been their niche, but just lets you know that we're in a shithole really. And there's always that fucking uh, paranoia, what if they're, what if we're watching my, the porn, you know, I'm watching like a, what if we know I'm watching it and they think that I'm some sort of misogynistic judeophile and not judeophile in a good way like you know there's always these Jewy chicks in porn there's gonna be a lot of that paranoia and it's not good paranoia because you're still doing shitty things people are still doing bad stuff they're encouraged to do so but it's still gonna be held against them it's always gonna be held against you if you don't behave in a clean, milk toast, or even alpha way. And of course, you're going to get a lot of hate for acting like that, and you're going to get a lot of consequences too, but if you continue to be a good goy and a freak, uh, it's a lose-lose situation. And this rambling, this is probably like the worst take of them all, because in both my previous takes, I did kind of a good job, but I didn't like it, but now this one's kind of shit. Anyway, I gotta find out how I'm gonna save my little brother from his disappearance. This is Mr. Ronka7, I'm gonna go out and do some Jackie Chan shit, and... Take care, guys. Take fucking care.